Hey guys, and welcome back to Money Matters. My name is Nathan, and in today's video, we'll be looking at eight insane things you don't know about the founders of Sailing La Vagabond. Let's begin. Number one, the couple ditched their office jobs for the travel lifestyle. Before they took up full-time sailing, Riley Whitelum and Alanya Karasu were heavily invested in the corporate world of Australia, where they worked eight to five jobs. However, neither of the two felt as though it was worthwhile, so they ditched their office jobs and followed their interests. Now they have successfully made a name for themselves and are living their best lives. Number 2. They've covered over 40,000 nautical miles Riley and Alanya have successfully covered over 40,000 nautical miles ever since they started sailing and are yet to cover more. They've crossed both the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean and have even spent one winter basking in the warm Caribbean sun. Number 3. They've encountered pirates before. While their journey comes off as adventurous and one that's full of joy, they have come across certain dangers along the way. They encountered pirates when they were sailing close to the Galapagos Islands, and they even caught a deadly virus. Number 4. They have very heated arguments. The couple isn't afraid to admit that they have heated arguments while at sea. However, the most beautiful thing is that they embrace that the heated arguments are part and parcel of life, and they look for more innovative ways to reconcile. Number 5. The couple met on a Greek island. At the time, Alanya was playing music for a travel company, and Riley was sailing La Vagabond single-handedly. It was literally like love at first sight, and they've been inseparable ever since. Number 6. None of them had sailing experience when they started. Neither Riley nor Alanya had any experience before they decided to invest in sailing. Managing and controlling the large sea vessels seemed difficult at first, but they've been able to learn the ropes along the way. Number 7. They use most of their funds for boat maintenance. Typically, we would be quick to assume that the couple uses all of their funds to finance their lavish lifestyle. However, this isn't entirely true. A small portion of the money pledged to them is funneled into new film equipment, and a bigger portion of it is funneled into boat maintenance. Number 8. They mostly eat seafood. The couple directly sources their food from the waters beneath them. They are always trying out new food regularly and take the time to learn how to fish. Thanks for watching.